When you're doing a fret level and dress, the next step after actually leveling the frets is called crowning. Crowning is the re-sculpting of the flattened fret to the nice rounded shape that it originally had when it left the factory. And this is important for a few different reasons. One is it gives you better playability when the contact area on the fret is small, more narrow. And it also gives you better intonation. If you were to string up a neck with freshly leveled frets, the intonation points would all actually be forward and the guitar wouldn't play in tune very well. So crowning is a really important procedure. We carry a bunch of different crowning files. We have five different types, almost 20 different files, and that's a lot to consider, especially if you're trying to figure out which one of these is going to best suit your needs. So I'm going to take you through all the different types of files that we have. We're going to start with the traditional three corner file, and we're going to end with the latest innovation in crowning files, our Z file. To learn more about fret crowning and a bunch of other cool Luthery stuff, subscribe to our YouTube page. Okay, let's get started. The goal here, as I mentioned, is to reshape that fret to a nice rounded shape. First thing I'll do is I'll blue the top of this leveled fret with this marker. This helps you see the surface, and as you're removing metal, you can see your progress. You want that line, we call it land or landing strip, to be like this fret here, as narrow as possible without actually scuffing off the top of it. So getting started with the three corner files, probably the oldest type of fret crowning file, my personal favorite, the three corner medium file. Done thousands of fret jobs with this. They're all a single cut with real fine teeth on them so they do a real smooth stroke across the fret. It's almost like you're just peeling it off. And then it has safe ground edges so they don't mark up your fingerboard. What I like about them is their accuracy. You can really dial in a fret shape. One of the downsides though is it takes a little bit of time to learn how to use it correctly. And even when you refine your technique, it still takes a little longer than some of these other files. But to me, that's a good trade-off for the accuracy. That's your nice thin line that you're looking for. It's also an inexpensive file and our best-selling file. The three-corner file is awesome. The next type of file that we're gonna cover, I call a traditional crowning file. They have a concave surface that fits over the fret top with the teeth cut into it, and with each stroke, it evenly brings in those edges until you have a nicely re-rounded fret. These are very popular. You'll see them in factories and repair shops all over the world. They're inexpensive, they're durable, they'll last a really long time. The downside is they can chatter. If you don't get a nice smooth stroke over the top of that fret, it kind of skips a little bit and will leave these little dents in the fret that you'll either have to continue crowning until you smooth them out or do some extra dressing to make those go away. When you're using a tooth file, must have tools are file cards. Pretty much every couple frets or every fret maybe, you need to clean those teeth really good so there's no shaving stuck down in those teeth because if they are, you can drag that back over the fret and leave a scratch that you might not be able to sand out. We have a couple different versions of this file. These are our Stumac double edge files. One is for narrow and medium frets. The other one is for wide and jumbo frets. We also have the Gurian 3-in-1. It has interchangeable burrs, a narrow, medium, and wide. Another cool feature is the offset handle. What's great about this is it lifts the handle up over your work, whereas a typical traditional type file, especially if you're on a steeper radius fingerboard, you risk running the handle into the body while you're trying to get the base side of the fret rounded. Clever design, and it's also very functional. The next one we have is another file by Michael Gurian called the Quarter Round and it combines the accuracy of the three corner file with the simplicity of a traditional concave file to make something that's totally different than anything else out there. So you'll look closely at it and you'll see these quarter round tooth sections as well as safe edges all the way around. Like the three corner file, you're only removing material off of one side of the fret at a time and you tip that file, ride the fretboard, until you've reshaped that fret to a really nice round shape. And it gets you there pretty quick. It's easier to get to know than a three-corner file. It might take you a little longer to develop your skill than a traditional crowning file, but it is another awesome way to get a good crown on your frets. So now we're gonna move on to diamond files. 
A traditional tooth file, as I mentioned, can chatter a little bit. They can also leave the fret looking a little bit rough. But with the diamond files, they kind of eliminated all that. The diamond files have diamond abrasive embedded in the tool. It's like sandpaper almost. We have 150 grit and 300 grit. With the smooth abrasive, you're already well on your way to a final dress when you're done with the crowning process. And you don't get the shavings buildup that you do with a tooth file. And those work on both the push and pull strokes, where a traditional tooth file only works on the push stroke. We have a bunch of different kinds. The 150 grit is used when you have to really hog off a lot of material, and then you bring in the 300 to smooth that out, make it look a little prettier. Or if your fret wear is not that bad, you could get away with just using the 300. The offset, you have a nice offset shape, which like the Gurian offset, clears your body, clears the horns on the guitar as you're working. We also have our double edge, which is basically a diamond version of our traditional toothed crowning file. If you like that same type of file, you can get a diamond version of it and still have that same feel. The next type we have is what we call a dual grit. It's like a diamond version of the Gurian file. It too has an offset handle and then it has two removable grits. So one side is 150 and then the other side, you flip it around, you snap it right in, is 300. They feel really good in the hand, they're lightweight, they're easy to control and all around it's a good file. I like these quite a bit. Last up, we have the Z-File. We're pretty proud of these. We like to say that this is really the most significant innovation in a fret crowning file since the traditional crowning file. Sometimes if you're using a traditional concave file and you're really going at it, you might go too far and then just scuff off the top of that leveled fret and blow your leveling job. Where the Z-File is awesome is it has that V shape. It's impossible to scuff off the top of your fret there. We call it a foolproof tool. We have three different versions of these guys. They are all 300 grit. We have the centered, which is a perfectly symmetrical V shape on both sides. And the safe edge, the safe edge works a lot like a three corner file or the Gurian quarter round. You use it to work on one side of the fret at a time. So it's just a different type of single edge diamond file. And then the original Z-File, the idea behind this one was to give you two different offset cutting angles, which are opposite on the opposing side. So you can make your file strokes, cuts off the two different facets, you flip it over, and it repeats the process on the opposite side. So you get a very nice rounded fret in a fraction of the time of most other files. It's really fast. A common question we get is, what is the best crowning file for a beginner and for somebody with a lot of experience? Any day, I would say, the centered Z file. It's foolproof enough to where somebody who's just getting started can get excellent results. And it is also innovative enough that if you're experienced, it makes the job go much quicker and you get much more accuracy than you can with any other file. I'm behind them 100%. Don't let the cost scare you. It is worth every penny in the frustration that it relieves. I really wish I had this video when I was getting started because I didn't know which fret crowning files I needed. Hopefully this video will help you understand the files, what they do, and choose the one that will suit you the best.